Still concerns about fire around the state. Why? Because the heat is back on again. Inland temperatures, not just locally, but elsewhere around the state, going to be into the triple digits. We almost made it today. Webcams KSBY.com show another element to this warm up and arrival of high pressure. It's starting to clear out the marine cloud cover. This is a look at Morro Bay live right now from our KSBY.com webcam network powered by Surfline. You get the picture and you get the forecast, the surf forecast from Surfline. 69 right now in Santa Barbara and 72 in Gaviota and 71 in Santa Maria and 65 in Vandenberg. 75 in San Luis, winds out of the northwest at 10 and a westerly wind 5 in Paso Robles. Now this shutdown of that afternoon breeze, which sometimes can be up to 20 and 25 miles per hour, one of the reasons we can warm those temperatures up. 95 right now, Bakersfield, 94 Redding, it's 102 in Phoenix and 99 in Las Vegas. Drought indicators, severe drought across the state has risen up to 20.12%. It's always included San Luis Obispo County, Santa Barbara County, Ventura and LA, but it's starting to creep a little bit further north, including the Central Valley in the moderate drought category. So. With no rain in the forecast, we always have to watch these reservoir levels. Nascimento is down to 16.5% now, down 1.8%. That's a pretty big drop in a week. Salinas is at 82.5 and Lopez at 44.5, Whale Rock at 75.8. San Antonio is at 13.6 and Kachuma at 32.5, Jamison 58.3 and Gibraltar at 77.3. I'll put all that on the social media. Hey, another day of school tomorrow. Lucia Mar District 57 to get going and in the afternoon, pretty pleasant 78 degrees. So starting to warm up around the area. San Luis Obispo in the 80s in the afternoon. Again, a tad on the chilly side in the morning, but you know, this is a jacket optional kind of forecast. In Paso Robles, we're looking at afternoon temperatures on the bus, or at least outside the bus, around 100 degrees. Wow. Here's why high pressure across the West. It's in dominant control. In fact, it's going to strengthen a bit over the next couple of days and then back off early next week. Trough digs into the West and temperatures will be below average by the time we get there. But I think five days above average before we start to see that change. So plenty of marine layer again. It's backed away from the coast a little bit. It will fill back in tonight because we're not seeing a really strong push in terms of wind. In fact, we could even see some offshore wind later on tonight. Florence is out here and at one point this was the first major hurricane of the season in the Atlantic. It ran into wind shear. It's lost some power. It's down to 80 miles per hour. But here's my concern. It's going to start to pick up some strength again and speed and could threaten the U.S. next week. About this time next week could threaten the eastern seaboard. National forecast 70 in Chicago, 90 Orlando, 85 New Orleans. Leftovers of Gordon are in this area here, so it's kind of a bumpy ride. St. Louis 78, 104 in Phoenix, 96 in Sacramento, 80 in San Diego. And our forecast looks like this. Again, inland going to be warm. Looking at temperatures right around 103 in Paso, 87 San Luis, 83 Santa Barbara, and 76 in Lompoc. Santanez Valley temperatures low 90s. Low 70s at Vandenberg. So this is a microclimate forecast. You find a little bit of everything here. Again, some cloud cover at the coast, but I like a clearing pattern, a pretty aggressive one tomorrow. So a lot of 70s at beaches to nearly 80. Pismo Beach, beautiful, 78 degrees. At Avila, I'm going 83 tomorrow, 74 Morro Bay, 102 at Tascadero, 79 at Cayucas. That's a nice beach weather and Saturday looks good too. The change comes Sunday into next week. We're going to start to see more marine emergence here. Inland temperatures again drop to below average, but it will be a warm weekend. San Luis Obispo near 90 the next two days and then backing off to the mid 70s by Tuesday. Kathy, Scott, back to you.